what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The Proud Boys, a far-right extremist group, pledged allegiance to Donald Trump, your president, during the first presidential debate on Tuesday evening. Donald Trump was asked by Chris Wallace, the moderator, if he would denounce white supremacist groups Trump said, give me a name. So Joe Biden, the former vice president said, Proud Boys. Trump did not denounce white supremacists. He did not denounce neo-Nazis or the KKK or anybody. He said, Proud Boys. Stand back, stand by. And then he said, you know, somebody got to do something about Antifa. Family, do y'all understand the magnitude of how dangerous his comments are? We have a sitting president who has his own private militia, a his squad, to go out and do his bidding. Donald Trump should be locked up for threatening to incite a civil war in this country. Because I'm going to tell you something that I know for certain and that the Proud Boys are not planning for. They are not planning for people to shoot back. They think that they're the only ones who have guns and knows how to use them. No, they're the only ones who basically show off their guns, who go around beating their chest. But just like the bully in the neighborhood, the bully at school, he always get it, don't he? You know why he get it and it's so easy to get him? Because you see him coming from a mile away. It's so easy. Every bully I've ever eliminated was very easy to do because I knew their MO. You can see them coming from a mile away. They're loud. This is why it's so easy to get at them. They're loud. Do a lot of talking. You can see the you can see their intentions in their eyes. You can see it in their face, you know, by their facial expressions. So they're easy to take down. So what's going to happen is that Donald Trump going to mess around and get them killed. That's what's going to happen. I think they forget that the South lost the Civil War. I think they forget the Confederates lost the Civil War. I think that they forget that a lot of these people that they named these buildings and statues after were murdered by people who wanted freedom, by people who couldn't wait to light their asses up. So, hey man, All I can say, baby, is get ready. Make sure you prepare, fam. Don't take for granted. Don't sit back and hope that everything work out. Don't sit back and hope that you're protected, that the government protects you. Keep in mind, your sitting president is in charge of the military. He is the demander in chief or demander in thief. He is over the military. This whole presidency has been a shit show. And so the debate is just a microcosm of that. Simple. I knew that that debate was going to be a shit show. 
And that's why I watched it. I like all of the other debates, all of the other debates. Uh, I think I caught one or two Democratic debates and that was it. But I only watched to kind of like see what was going on. But this one I watched because I knew it was going to be pure entertainment. And now they're talking about the organizers are saying that they've put, in, they put some things in place so that it wouldn't be so chaotic for the second and third debate. I'm not so sure about that. Donald Trump has not followed one single rule and he's broken every law that he could to get what he wants. So I just don't see them doing anything much different. The dude don't give a damn. He don't have any type of tact. He has no respect for decorum, a public discourse. The dude is uncivilized. Damn. People don't understand that. A lot of people think, oh, you give a person some money and put them in a suit and give them a title and they're qualified. No. This dude is uncivilized. He is a divider. The dude is a problem. And if America burns, he will be holding the torch. He's going to provide the gasoline. That, he don't know any other way. The dude is destructive. He's not a builder. He's a destroyer. That's what he does. Fam, I'll tell you again. Protect yourself at all times. Because I wouldn't take a gamble. I would not take a gamble with my family's life. I'm not going to take a gamble with mine. Ain't no sense of jumping on social media, talking about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and all that stuff. Leave that for them because that's what they're doing. You know, they're celebrating right now. The Proud Boys are celebrating. They're all over social media. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like they're taking orders from Trump. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Standing by. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Standing back. Standing by. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Standing down. They're making T-shirts and caps and all kinds of stuff. They, they jumped right on it and started monetizing it. I checked out the, the uh, did a Google search on them. They already got the name. They've already purchasing the domain names and stuff. I mean, they trying, well, I don't know if they actually uh, purchased the domain name, but somebody purchased it and they're trying to sell the domain name for 25 racks. So yeah, they're out there, fam. And they're celebrating. And I, and I, and I read one comment where, some dude that claimed to be a supporter of the Proud Boys said, uh, I'm so happy that he said that. He said, you know, that he was happy that Donald Trump said, stand back, stand by. He said, I'm so happy. Fam, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Understand that. I wonder what China's doing. Probably laughing right now. No more talk. What the haters talking about?